Hello, we're gonna make Opera work in Microsoft Edge browser. Since Internet Explorer is going away in June and it's already gone in Microsoft Windows 11. This is my link. I'll try to log in and it fails. That's a new computer out of the box. So that's what we need to do. Let's download latest edge for business policy files. I'll put that link below. We chosen the latest stable version. Same thing with build. And which is a platform for me, it's 64-bit um, Windows. And we don't download, we can click download, click on get policy files. Accept and download, thank you. Then we need to extract that zip file. Now we're going to open local group policy. Local computer policy under computer configuration, administrative templates, and we're going to add something. Click add, right click add, and then we need to select files we just extracted, which in my case in downloads folder. Chosen Windows, ADM folder, English US, all right, now it's added, you will see classic administrative templates, now ADM. and group policy right here. Now let's download enterprise mode site list manager. I'm going to provide that link below. Accept terms and conditions, next, next, install and finish. Let's open this enterprise mode site list manager. We're going to create a list and export it as XML file. We're going to use them a couple places in group policy after. For URL, use your Opera URL. Don't put HTTP or HTTPS. It will figure it out by itself. So open the Direct Explorer and then allow redirects. That's pretty much it. You can add some notes if you want to. Now let's export it as XML file. Select your URL and then file. Saved XML. Save it to 
um, your local directory and name the file. Mine's going to be IE mode XML. Okay, going back to local group policy. Microsoft Edge under classic administrative templates we just installed. Sorted by name. configuring Internet Explorer integration. We're gonna enable that. Internet Explorer mode. Next, we're going to Windows Components, Internet Explorer, use the Enterprise Mode website list. So, actually, I'm move file xml file we just created to a root folder so it's uh, a shorter link for me to type Now we're gonna do enable, and then we need to type in path to that file. What do you do? Just type in file, colon, for, for three forward slashes, drive, C drive in my case, colon, two backslashes, IE mode, XML, and, and that's it. But, uh, format if it's in a different folder the same thing you just type in file colon three forward slashes drive to backslashes folder to backslashes another folder to backslashes another folder and then file so that's why I just moved it to the root folder for me it's easier to type I'll put example in the comment stay in Windows components and select Microsoft Edge. Sorted by name. We're gonna configure the enterprise mode site list. Same thing, we enable in it and we need to type in XML file location.
okay now we're gonna allow microsoft compatibility list just enable that click ok that's it and send all internet sites to Internet Explorer 11. By the way, let's see if it's enabled in our features. Yep. So enable, click OK. Let's install Net Framework 3.5, older version. It will just get installed from Windows natively. However, if you have any issues, as some people experience errors, then you'll need to use dism command and local media to install 3.5 Microsoft Frameworks. In my case, I'm just gonna go through. success. Yep, it's selected now. Another requirement on a clean computer, it's Java, and it's uh, not 64 version, but x86 version of Java. So download offline version, not 64 bit. And that's clean, that's clean computer. That's why I need that. If you already have Opera installed, probably you have Java already in place. If you just want to switch from Internet Explorer to Edge, in my case, it's a clean install. Now we're gonna uh, do some changes on security tab. In Java configuration, we need to add our web link for our Opera. So it's on a, an exception list. And again, if you have Opera working in Internet Explorer, probably you have it already. In advanced tab, make sure that TLS 1.2 is selected. Let's test. Yep, I see this red light, which is good. I'm gonna accept, don't remind me again. And now it's gonna start installing Opera on your machine, which is 
pretty fast. I think that's almost done. And you'll need Adobe Reader DC to open your reports. That's the only thing to install. Now another thing, do we need to do it for each user on this machine? So for example, you're on domain controller and you have multiple users. Do we need to do the same procedure for each user? So let's see. Uh, my remote connection is so slow. <laughs> Even Titan's lagging. Well, hi there. So now we're gonna test it under a different user who's not admin. And see what needs to be done to make it work on the same computer. If we do nothing and just open Edge and um, our upper link, let's see. That's, uh, that's easy. We need to add it to exception list. Let's restart Edge. I think that's it. So yeah, you will need to do it just once on each computer, which is still a lengthy process. But for each additional user, we just need to add it to a Java exception list, and then it should work. Yep, success. All right, thank you for watching. I hope it helps, and um, have a good day.